Hi, this is Stephanie March from Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine, and I am here to introduce you to an exclusive inside look at the building of Tilia. Stephen Brown's new restaurant in Linden Hills is not quite open yet, but we have had over the last couple weeks a chance to look at the process for building a restaurant, training his staff, tasting the food, introducing it to the neighborhood and the community, and we're going to let you in on what we've seen. You've had a lot of friends come in and help work on your stuff, haven't you? <laughs> well, I'm pretty lucky that way. I think I was telling somebody the other day that it's, uh, it's a pretty nice feeling to say that, you know, hey, me and my friends built this place. Yeah, don't so you think? I really like that. These are from a school in Jackson, Minnesota. These are the PA speakers. And then I found some modern speakers, so I'll just kind of use these as like covers. Those pillars are great behind the bar. Yeah, and I the table those. bases match those. Oh, those, really? We were going to paint those and like media blast them. Yeah, no. And then, uh, and then we found these and we said, nah, let's just leave them. I mean, have you ever been to Joe Palin? My God. Joe Palin is a restaurant <gasps> supply store. And um, he kind of decides if he's going to sell you stuff or not. Is that correct? Yeah, that's, and he has all these beautiful, beautiful things, uh, some of which have uh, particular meaning to him. So then he's like, oh, you know, don't you want this one over here? <laughs> but we found this, uh, this French flat top let's go look at this. You want to go let's look, go look at, at it? 125 bucks, and yep. you know, and then I sent all this stuff out to, uh, I found this really cool uh, guy that does powder coating. And then this is the original. Like, we decided that we wanted to go with this one. Nice. From Santa Magdalena, which is a small we're going to check out what they're doing for wine tasting because training the staff is really a key part before you open the restaurant. You have to make sure that everybody knows the wines on the menu and the foods on the menu. They're tasting wines and they're talking about the flavors and it's really an interesting education that's all part of opening a restaurant. L'orangerie. L'orangerie. Lingerie. Lingerie is that what we like to say <laughs> in the wine shop. And when you pair acidity and creaminess and a little bit of that yeast in it, which loves salt with oysters, for instance, or shellfish, you get a, a match made in heaven. This is a neighborhood restaurant. I mean, that's how you'd call it. Yeah, I've realized one thing over time is what, what I really love about restaurants is the community. One of the reasons I was really excited to go into Linden Hills is that sort of because of its proximity to the lakes, and you know, it's still in Minneapolis, but you gotta kind of try to get here. Yeah, you, you know? do. You know, the co-op was located in this neighborhood that's for a true. long time. And, um, so they really have a great sense of community, so I just want to be a part of that. Anything else you want to add about this restaurant and its inception from dust to beams? Dust to beams? Oh, I'm just incredibly grateful and overwhelmed by the support and love that people have given me, especially my wife. She's, she is a gem. I think when I met her in 1994, yeah. I was like, five years. In five years, I want to own my own restaurant. So it only, it only, <laughs> it took, only took me 17. To quote my good friend, Doug Flicker, it's, it's not where you're at, it's what you do while you're there. It's what you do while you're there. I love it. I think that's it. I think that's the best way to end this, because I think you need to come check out Tilly All for yourself to see really what it's all about.